Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino here in Augustville, Connecticut. This is week four of Team Combat League. First up, we have the one and one Las Vegas Hustle matching up against the 0-1 DC Destroyers. Let's meet the starting lineup for the Las Vegas Hustle, led by their head coach, Dewey Cooper. First in the male featherweight. Now let's meet the 0-1 DC Destroyers. Their head coach, the esteemed Barry Hunter. And now it's time to begin Las Vegas and DC. Week four of Team Combat League begins. And four, Douglas has landed a straight left. Castile with the right hand. Castile being aggressive, but Douglas clipping her with the right hook. Castile, you see that. There's a nice right hand for Castile. Back comes Douglas. Yeah, Douglas put on a couple of nice defensive moves back, going backwards. Uh, but Castile came in real hard and threw that nice combination one. Wearing good start to this action. Sherrod Williams for Las Vegas. He's wearing the orange and the red, wearing the white and the blue. Romello Webster, this one in the Bantamweight division. Good left hook to the body by Webster. Some body work being exhibited by Romello Webster. Right. And here's the thing, every single round is so important. Well, every single second is important, really. Indeed. Good straight left for Williams. Getting aggressive. Oh, he got buzzed with a right from Webster. Look at these guys go to begin Team Combat League week four. Good left hook to the body by Webster, followed by a right. So far, Williams hasn't been able to. It could be an indication that DC is getting ready to go up 2 nothing. Beautiful left hook spraying Sherrod Williams for Las Vegas. Uh, a couple Conventional. of them. Rocknamov trained under the guidance of Dewey Cooper as the head coach of Las Vegas. Good overhand right, right. by Rocknamov. Uh-huh. But he's, he's not moving around the ring. He's holding his ground right here. He's just being real slick about his defense. Good right to the body by Rocknamoff, but popping him with his jab is Webster. Not Webster, beg your pardon, Harris. Harris looking to land and has Rocknamoff off balance a little bit. That could play a factor. Good right to the chin. Compliments of Patrick Harris of DC. Left hook that momentarily wobbled Alexander Thiel. Some of this action. Here from Mohegan Sun, Theo looking to land a left hook, but he gets popped with a jab. Compliments to Quincy Williams. A right upstairs by Williams. So far, Joe Dusen has it. Three nothing in favor of DC. A combination by Quincy Williams, the wide heavyweight. Few between so far in these fights. Ooh. Left hook by Alexander Theo as he unloaded upon Quincy Williams. And here comes Thiel. I think this round hangs oh. in the balance. Big right hand. That stagger Thiel. Quincy Williams hammered him. I would favor Williams, and I think he might have stolen this round. He just might have because I had Thiel ahead uh, up until about 30 seconds ago. And that'll end the fourth. What a round between Quincy Williams and Alexander Thiel. A right hand connecting for Casey Dixon. I wasn't sure how much I'd like it, but I really like it because these guys got to fight every second of the one round they're fighting. As you're just saying right here, Sam Arnold was sort of waiting on the ropes. The guy or push his head down. You got to get right to it. And Dixon's the guy that's looking to make this fight right now. Well, they are mixing it up on the inside. I like that Arthur Mercanti is allowing them to fight physical. Yeah. He's not stepping in the way, finally gets in there after. Um, was Arnold actually landed some good body shots here before the shoe incident? But now here again. It's on the way next. Good jab by Arnold. Good right hand down the center. Oh, oh. big shot. Down goes Dixon. Oh, my goodness. That's 
huge. That, uh, Annalee, I, I'd probably give it a 10-9. A there it was. Look at beautiful that one shot. Too. Uh -huh. A beautiful combination, but here is the marquee matchup that people have been talking about. Michael Hunter representing Las Vegas. Haseem Rahman Jr. This is the biggest round so far in the history of Team Combat League. Look at that, Hunter attacking Rockman Jr. Looking to make a statement. A couple left hooks by the bounty hunter. The sun has gone. I mean, he's you know top cruiserweight when he was campaigning to cruiserweight. Right. Looking to make a splash in the heavyweight division. Left hook to the body by Michael Hunter. Rockman Jr. Under a minute left here in this sixth round. Oh. Joe, so far though, I believe that oh. Hunter has got Rockman hurt. Hunter's not only got him hurt, he's been really doing well this whole round. It's Big all right him. Hand. All him. He throws it back to the corner. They're going to have to do without the mouthpiece until the action stops. Oh, no, a... I believe Rockman uh, yeah. may have wobbled Hunter. Or... Kicked it over to the corner. They just cleaned it off and gave it back. Good Big run. right hand for I see Rockman. They yeah. both throw at the bell. My goodness, Joe. Yeah, that was a great right hand, a uh, great punch by Rock. DC with Dupe Shola Akinola. Good right hand there by Akinola. Look at, they are just going to battle here, Joe. Akinola's looking to throw that right hand. She's been throwing it. No commercial break, uninterrupted, right here on the Team Combat League YouTube page. Good right hand there by Akinola, as you mentioned, yep, Joe. Yep, she's looking for that. She goes to the body with the left hand a little short, right there again over the top. Another echoing right hand for Akinola. But well, pressuring is Britos. This is where Britos should be. She's got the shorter punching uh, ability, and uh, uh, she doesn't want to get hit with that long shot that she's been getting hit with it. So she, Britos should stay in tight and work short, just like that. Here is some of the action. Akinola with that right hand. I'll tell you one thing, the fight ends, you look up and they got another two guys in the <laughs> ring. You don't even have time to get on the stool because guess what? You're out of the ring right after that. <laughs> there is Drayton applying the pressure on Ronnie Ostian of Las Vegas. Of great. And Grayton attacks the body of Ronnie Austin. Significant shot in these final 15 seconds. Now it looks like Grayton's trying. Good, good left hook. That's right. Good. By Austin. That's right. He knocked down in on the night, but we are in the middleweight division. Gregory wearing the white and the blue for DC. Wyatt wearing the yellow and the red. Good left hook there by Wyatt. Now Wyatt going forward on Gregory. Monier Gregory popping the jab. That's what I like to see more out of Joe is both men throwing the jab. Well, yeah, but in this type of competition, one round, you should have something following that jab. If you pop it, being blocked by Gregory, keep it Big right up. hand on the left ear of Daquan Wyatt. He's on, he's on. And he has been impressive here tonight. Oh. A right hand wobbling Wyatt that, momentarily. Not another left uppercut. That followed two left hooks, you know, an actual coach. Oh, Big good. right hand over the top by Norman Neely. Back comes Skylar oh. Lacey. Big left hook by Neely on Skylar Lacey. There's a right by that, Skylar Lacey. That's, now he's coming on. Oh, boy. Oh, he ate a right Le hand from Norman Neely. Yeah, and Lacey better be careful about keeping his chin. Here a team combat lead. Ray Flores, the Hall of Famer, Joe Goosen, Cynthia Conti, Amir Tyson. Privilege to be with all of you. Good left hook there by Skylar Lacey, and that'll end the 10th round. Yeah, and he, he came in with a couple of nice right uppercuts, but there was a nice, com nice combination uh, uh, by White. First one of the night for him that looked clean like that. Good jab by Scuderi. Scuderi here at Mohegan Sun Resort and oh, Casino. Okay. So. This is the women's featherweight division that are on a full display. And this is a rematch of what we saw in the first round. Douglas is smart. She uh, throws her 
Punches, gets her hands back quickly, slides under the wide punches. Two minute rounds. I don't like that, Joe. I think they should go three. I wonder what they think about it. I'm sure they would like to go three as well. You know, I mean, why not? Now, this is where Castillo wants Douglas right now. Well, Castillo is having a better account of herself here in this 12th round compared to that of our first round. Yeah, and Douglas better get out of there or she's going to lose this round. I can tell you that. Oh, right there's now. a chopping left for Douglas. Yeah. Another chopping left it for is, Tyrese. It is, Douglas. but it's four, five to one right now. Castillo's throwing combinations right now. There's another right uppercut left hook by Castillo. I saw, you know, previously, Joe, because, you know, we went ahead and all this. Oh, nice right Good hand, right by, hand Akinola. by Akinola. Yeah, another she, right hand. That's yeah. her punch. That's her punch. And she whips it. Look at that. A little body shot with the right hand, then back over the top. Smart stuff. Slick. A little bit more to set up that right oh, hand. Oh, good body shot. Look at this body work by Dupe Akinola, DC. A left hook back in up Britos. Well, she's back up Britos with a body shot. Ooh. Good left hook by du Quincy Williams. A nice double left hook. He's going to the body really good against Steele. Landing the first hook to the body, then coming upstairs to the top with the hook. It's some oh deal, though. Good. That's a great little pullback hook, a little check hook by uh, Williams uh, on that last exchange. These guys really know what they're doing. They're skilled. Look at that counter punch. You see a little roll. Punches down the pipe. But he just got countered with a big oh. right hand. Quincy Williams wobbling Thiel. On Alexander Thiel. Big left hook upstairs by Williams. And this is really the essence of, of this combat team combat sports is the fact that Big they, left hook they, by they're, they're Williams. Go, they're going at it hard for this Look one at round. This. Nice lead right hand by Austin. Oh. Big left for Patrick Harris. Harris oh. stepping in, momentarily halting Austin in his tracks. It's been falling short. There it Straight is. Straight nice. left by Patrick Harris. Yeah, he's come close twice, though. Nice right hand by Austin. You know who worked the corner with me at the Country Club in Reseda? When I, when I When I worked Mike the Bounty Hunter, his father's... Uh, Who's that? The father had, was James Kahn, the actor. James Kahn, Can, wow. Yeah, I think he had a piece of uh, Mike Hunter, the Bounty Hunter, My the original. My goodness. Yeah style of his own does Hunter. Yeah. And now at the midway point of the 16th round. Hunter looks good, doesn't he? Well, he did. Great job giving you behind the scenes show. I'll be honest with you, I don't know where Amir Tyson is, but he's everywhere as he just got. But it, it didn't dissuade Hunter from coming on right here. I think it well, made him mad. Yeah, it really did. It, it angered him. <laughs> Nearly clipped him with a left hook, but Hunter went right after him as to say, okay, oh, right you want to fight, fire with fire. They're going toe to toe now. Oh, Hunter's uh, really letting it rip. Look at just, this. Just, oh my goodness, what action here. Michael Hunter going right after. I'm, Team Combat League, Michael Hunter going right after Norman Neely, Joe. The final moments of the 16th round. Michael Hunter and Norman Neely uh, slugging it out here at Mohegan Sun Resort and uh, Casino. Wow. Casey Dixon, the shorter, sharper shot, certainly catching the attention of Samuel Arnold. Nice good one. right hand by Arnold. Two good right hands by Arnold. Three, four. Arnold's, oh, good, good counter. To be aggressive and go after Skyler Lacey if Lacey can keep him at bay. Good, good right to the yeah. body by Skyler Lacey. Yeah. Right hand over the top by that, that's Lacey. Right. Knockout I know level. What you, knockout I know. No, I'm, I'm not disputing <laughs> that. You're yeah. 100 Oh, big shot. And there we go. And down goes Rockman Jr. Well, he proved me wrong. He put him down. Well, he's not calling it a knockdown, or he would have not helped him up. Helped him up means that it was, it was a push. But big that right hand by Lacey.
Scoop. And that will end the 18th wow. round. Skyler Lacey looking super impressive. Yeah, much, much, much improved from the last fight. After 18 rounds, ladies and gentlemen, your final score total, Las Vegas 171. DC 170, Las Vegas improves to two and one on the season. DC falls to 0 and two. Congratulations to Dewey Cooper and his team, along with their newly signed coveted free agent, Michael the Bounty Hunter. Las Vegas two and one on the season. DCO and two. What an effort for Barry Hunter and company.